What's up Sephora Nation and welcome back to yet again another Did You Know Thursday. Today we're going to be tackling the question, what's the difference between a black and a white rhino? to the physical attributes, the first thing one can notice is the physical size difference between the two species. However, they would have to be standing right next to one another for you to actually pick it up with the eye. Male white rhinos will weigh up to 2.3 tons, whereas a black rhinos will only go up to about 1.1 ton. So there's a ton of difference. Both species have been recorded browsing and grazing, but in general, white rhinos tend to focus on grazing, cutting the grass like lawn mowers, and black rhinos tend to focus on browsing. Due to their feeding habits, white rhinos have a very square and flat lip, making bulk grazing a lot easier, whereas black rhinos have a hooked, almost prehensile-like lip, making it easier for them to pull leaves and twigs closer to their mouth to actually feed on that. A great distinction between the two species is the fact that white rhinos have a much flatter back with a bit of a hump right behind the middle of the back and black rhinos have a more concave shaved back stretching from the shoulders to the rump. And their heads also differ. White rhinos have a way more elongated head making it easier for them to reach down and graze on the grass whereas black rhinos have a shorter and a rounder shaped head making it easier for them to pick up their head to browse on leaves and twigs that's at shoulder height. On the behavior side of things, white rhinos tend to be more calm and placid creatures, whereas black rhinos have the reputation of being slightly more temperamental. And what's also interesting is that white rhino females will let their calves walk in front of them and black rhino females will let their calves walk behind them. Now this is most probably due to the fact of the different habitats that they occur in. White rhinos occur in big open grassy plains, so they like to see their calves in front of them the whole time and that makes it easy for them to protect them from predators. Whereas black rhinos tend to be in more dense, thickly vegetated areas and so it's easier for the mother to have the calf behind her because she can crash her way through the bush and also protect the young one if predators are nearby. I'm sure you've noticed that there isn't an actual color difference between a black and a white rhino. So let me know in the comments below why you think they are called black and white. All right guys, I hope you learned something new today. And if you have any questions about Africa and its wildlife, please leave it in the comments below. I would be happy to get back to you. And yeah, for now, just have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your week. And then I will catch you in the next video. Cheers.